Testing, testing, one, two, three. What is going on, everybody on YouTube? Movie goers alike, you are here with the Ride Home Review. What's the Ride Home Review? Essentially, I am giving my afterthoughts and my overview and a little bit of discussion of a film that I just went to go see. And you guys already know from the description today, we just got out the theater, the early premiere for Joker, Joaquin, a Phoenix is at it again, playing one of the hardest possible roles you could probably play as an actor. Um, I just think, personally, I just think the Joker role is it's really tough, not only because there's you know, obviously there's people that are behind the Joker role from years past. Um, your Heath Ledgers, your, you know, of course your Jack Nicholson's. And it's just, you know, that, that kind of role is tough for actors because you kind of have to kill it or it's not good enough. You know what I mean? Like if you did a, if you did an okay job at being the Joker, then... it still kind of seems as a miss like joker roles you really have to be like fantastic for you know for for the role to be played uh so while he give i want to give a round of applause to joaquin phoenix for taking that role which is one of the i think one of the toughest acting roles you can do uh trying to play as the joker because it's just immensely tough in my opinion um but Overall thoughts of the movie is Joker something you should go see in theaters. We'll start off with that. I would say yes. I think Joker is a film. It's an enjoyable, um, very emotional driven pace type of film. Almost like a, it's a drama where it just has such a big snowball effect. And it's an enjoyable movie to watch, I believe. Um, so definitely I, I would recommend going to the theaters to go see Joker. Don't wait for it to be in red box or nothing like that. I could see if you wanted to wait, um, you know, I would say it, in my opinion, I didn't feel like it had a slow burn effect, but, um, my, my friends that I went to go see it with at the time, uh, they they felt that it was a little bit of a slow burn. They felt like it took a little bit while for that snowball effect to get rolling. Um, I personally thought that the pacing was actually pretty well of the film. Uh, so you guys will be have to be the judges of that when you go and check it out. It was a good film in my opinion. I actually I did enjoy it. Such a tragedy, man. And, and you kind of had that idea going into the film that somebody like Joker, it's always convoluted, right? It's not like a person's just evil because they're just evil. You know, they they sometimes have a weird past or a tormented past or a disturbing past, something in their childhood that kind of makes them, you know, who they are and, and forges that and builds that. So uh, it was an interesting role that they took having Joker be someone who had all these issues when he was a child to him realizing oh, also guys before I, I start really diving deep into it this is going to be a breakdown discussion my thoughts excuse me we're not holding back at all so there are going to be spoilers so if you have not seen the film I recommend you go check it out and come back and listen to the ride home review all right with that being said all my people that are still chilling in the car with me right now since i'm driving home you guys are in the whip with me you guys aren't sitting at home we all driving together we're car pulling it as we have our discussion and hear my thoughts of the joker so starting off in the film we get a good breakdown of Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. He's he is a clown, and he's he's working as a clown. And throughout his time being a clown, he is having a whole bunch of stuff going on in his life. One, uh, he's trying to find money to to help his mom pay bills. He does live at home 
you know, with his mother. Uh, he's trying to get his career off the ground. He wants to be a comedian. He's doing this clown gig. And um, you can already, they, they wanted, they, the directors wanted to make an emphasis at the beginning of the film, hey, he has a, he has a type of disorder and he does have mental problems. Um, the main thing is he has this card that he has to give people to tell them, hey, I have a mental problem to where I, I laugh just randomly like I can laugh like I could put a gun to your dog's head and shoot your dog and I'll, I'll laugh to that shit like he he has this emotional reaction to laugh when I don't know what it is when he feels sad when he feels nervous whatever the case may be um, which is a certain common reaction for some people um, when you, when some people get nervous, I know some people do laugh. Give me one sec, guys. I'm going to have a swig of this water real quick. Please forgive me. But yeah, certain people, um, I, I do know certain people that, that will laugh, uh, when they get nervous. Hell, sometimes I do that, but for Joker, it's more extreme, more insane type of stuff. So. All this stuff essentially starts happening to the Joker. He, he's getting picked on by kids. He's getting beat up by people on the subway. Um, to the point where he just he just can't take it, you know, the shit anymore. He decides that he wants to do something about it. Um, and it was very interesting. I'm I'm gonna be bouncing all over the place, guys. I'm not just gonna do a beginning to end. Because if you guys have already seen the film, you know what it is. I'm not going to do a straight description of the beginning, the middle, or the end of the film. Since, you know, since I believe most of the people that are listening to this either saw it or you're just interested in the film. I still recommend to, you know, check out the film for that. But uh, some of the points that I really enjoyed, I mean, wow, the... He, so essentially... I'm going to explain it to some people who haven't seen it, and you guys already know this, but there's a girl that he meets in the elevator, and they make this illusion that he's actually hanging out with this girl for a while, and it actually ends up being that he only met her once, and he's just psychotically, like, he's in a mental state of mind where he thought she was there the whole time. Like, that's how, like, fucked up and psychotic that he's, you know, he's becoming. It's it's it's, it's a, a mental state. And I thought that was amazing. I thought that was awesome that they did that. I thought that was, like, really cool. Kudos to them for doing that. Um, also, his, you know, his mom getting sick and uh, her having a stroke. And he actually ends up, uh, uh, you know, finishing his mom and, and killing her while she's on the hospital bed. Um, just some intense stuff. And of course, the stuff with Bruce Wayne and uh, his story. They do, Batman is in the movie as a kid. And his father and his mom, of course, uh, they actually do reenact the killing of uh, Bruce Wayne's parents, which is something that. I mean, we have seen a few times, I mean, not a few times, we've seen it hundreds and hundreds of times in either the comics or the, you know, certain films and stuff like that. Um, well, I thought, I thought that was definitely cool, um, but I think everybody, you know, everybody knows how Bruce Wayne's parents died. Uh, if you're a comic book fan, if you're a, a Batman fan, even if you're a film fan, even if you, I mean, most people just know that, yeah, his parents were killed. You know, he becomes Batman type shit. So, um, it's something that they could have left out. But at the same time, I still thought it was cool. They did a good job at showing the death of uh, Bruce Wayne's uh, parents. Um, but yeah, overall, guys, like I said, it's a film that you definitely should check out. Um... I did enjoy this one. Is it does it fit into my top five films of the year? Yeah, that's tough to say, man. I'm gonna have to watch it again, but I did enjoy it. Um, personally, though, as of right now, I'm gonna say no, it doesn't go into my top five. But uh, wow, I still enjoy it. I mean, definitely check it out, guys. Definitely 
definitely check the film out. So yeah, guys, Joker definitely was an entertaining, fun film. A nice snowball effect. Uh, definitely a tragedy. Um, just like the Joker says, I realize that my life isn't a... <laughs> It's, it's not a tragedy, it's a comedy, but in the reverse, it definitely takes the snowball effect. It gets pretty wild as it continues and as it keeps rolling on. Um, definitely a, a, good, a good film. Go and check it out. Beautifully filmed as well. I thought the cinematography was great. I thought the score was a little odd. Um, I, I didn't really mind any part of the, the score except the uh the part when he was dancing on the stairs i thought that um they could have picked a different song choice for that one but other than that all the other pieces i thought were great um so yeah guys be sure to hit the bell hit uh, the subscribe button if you haven't already reaction videos review video news videos on movies tv film uh every single day so please check the channel check the content we're trying to get to our first milestone at this time of recording our 1k subscribers i would definitely appreciate you guys and and i, I appreciate all the support and love that all you guys have been bringing to the table so thank you very much well that that does it with joker check it out i enjoyed it that's my basics doesn't mean top five but hey still a, a good film in my opinion so uh, take care, guys, and be easy.